Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to look at angles, parallels, and transversals. So let L1, L2 be lines on the same plane. We say that L1 is parallel to L2, written like this, L1 parallel L2, if they do not intersect at any point. So we have here two parallel lines like that. And we indicate their parallel by having these little arrows uh, on both of them. And it has to be the same type of arrow. Sometimes you put double arrows or triple arrows or single arrows. This single arrow means it's parallel with this single arrow. So they're parallel like that. So a transversal is a line L3 that intersects two other lines. So here we have our L3 cutting our two other lines. And so L3 is a transversal. So there are many properties that arise from having a transversal cross two parallel lines. So let's look at some of those properties. Oh good, we can, we can see most of it. So first one is vertically opposite angles. So one and four, two and three, five and eight, six and seven, right? So this one's really easy to remember, opposite. One, four, two, three, like that. Corresponding angles. So you see this one corresponds with five, like that. Two corresponds with six. Four corresponds with eight. Three corresponds with seven. The other one is alternate interior angles. So I remember this one with a Z. So if we have a little Z like this, three and six are the same angles, like that, three and six. Here we have a little z like that, 3 and 6. And then 4 and 5 are also equal. Go like this, like that, 4 and 5. Last one, it's called co-interior angles. So you see this little c here? 4 and 6 add up to 180. 4 and 6 add up to 180. Same thing here, this little c like that, 5 and 3 adds up to 180, like that. Okay, so look at some more language before we do some examples. So here's some more language and info that we use in geometry. Complementary, this is when two angles add up to 90. So we have angle one, angle two, add up to 90. Supplementary, two angles that add up to 180. So on a straight line here, angles add up to 180. So one and two add up. So all of the angles of a triangle add up to 180. So 1, 2, 3. Angles 1, 2, 3 add up to 180. And all of the angles on a line add up to 180. So you have a line here like this, and all these angles, 1, 2, 3, this adds up to 180. Okay, so let's do some examples. So name an angle that is vertically opposite to 4. Opposite to 4 is 1. Opposite to 6. Opposite to 6 is 7. Opposite to 8. 8 opposite is 5. Corresponding to 2. 2 corresponds to 6. Corresponding to 7. 7 corresponds to 3. Alternate interior to 3. That's our Z like this. So 3, 6. Alternate interior to 5. 5, 4 like that. Okay, perfect. So here's our practice. Name an angle that is, here you go. So go ahead and pause the video and answer that. Okay, here are the answers like this. So opposite to three, two. Opposite to five, eight. Opposite to seven, six. Corresponding to 4, 8. Corresponding to 6, 2. Alternate interior to 6, that's our Z, so 3. Alternate interior to 4, which is 5, like that. So a quick little example too. Uh, we see that angles 1 and 2 are complementary. So here you go, 1 and 2 are complementary. And then we know angles 1, 2, 3 add up to 180. 
Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to find the value of angles using the properties that we just saw earlier. So here 50 is given. We have two parallel lines like that. 1, 2, 3. What are those values? So, uh, by the way, there's many ways of approaching it. So if you do it somewhat differently than mine, but you still get the same answer, don't worry about it. That's fine. There's, there's many ways of getting angles in this stuff. So 1, uh, we see you can have 180 minus 50, which gives 1. So 130 is value of 1. 130 corresponds to 3, right? 1 and 3 corresponding. So 3 is 130 as well. Then we have our alternate interior, 50 and 2 are the same. So angle 2 is 50 degrees. B. Here we have a nice little alternate interior. So 100, 100. Angle 1 is 100. C. Uh, we had noticed that 180 is on a line. So 180 minus 70 minus 70 gives 1, which is 40. So angle 1 is 40. Angle 2, we see a little Z here, right? So that's our alternate interior. So 2 is 70. We have another Z like this, like that. So alternate interior is 70. So angle 3 is also 70. So practice number 2, A and B. Go ahead and pause the video and find the value of those angles. Okay, we're back. So what do we have? Uh, 180 on the line, so 180 minus 120 gives 60, so we know 1 is 60. 3 and 1 are the same from alternate interior, like that. 120 is also alternate interior, so 2 and 120 are the same, like that. B. Uh, we have alternate interior like this, so 1 is 68. 3, we have 180 minus 115 co-interior so 3 is 65 so we have 1 and 3 and so we have 180 on the line so 180 minus 1 and minus uh, 3 gives 2 which gives 47 degrees like that and that's it I'll see you guys in the next lesson